At nagbabalik po dito sa Premier Volleyball League Open Conference. Nakakakuha, nakakuha na po ng dalawang sets ang ating Tacloban Fighting Warai. Sa, samantala ang set number one pa lamang po ang naitatala ng ating Ateneo Lady Eagles. At 14 points ang advantage doon ng Fighting Warai in set number three. Kung saan nagpakitang ginas talaga uh, si Nadib Dib Dib Takres. We saw the hits of Heather, you know, the gulang place from the Ates. Uh, of some sort, <laughs> Coach Oni. A little bit of ate lang naman, oh, Sinch. Okay. Pero konti, konti naman. ang hindi little bit is yung talino na pinapamalas ng uh, Fighting Warriors. Could it be fatigue para sa Lady Eagles? Because right now, the question ni Coach Oliver, hindi sila gumagalaw ng ayon sa gusto niyang kwestuhan to be able to defend itong team ng Fighting Warriors. At may pagkatulala ng konti yung itsure ng Lady Eagles sa natin or the latter the, part. Oh, uh, pero nakahabol naman sila eh. Nakabawi sila. Pero mula nung sinabi natin, when they narrow the gap to 7-5, suddenly, bumaba uli yung laro nila. They committed five more errors. They only scored 11 points. And once again, they were outplayed from the service line. First ball continues to be a problem para sa Lady Eagles. Kaya yung attack points nila, pababa ng pababa. At sila ay talagang naiwan ng gusto. From my 7-5 count, suddenly it ballooned to 21-10. As the fighting warais were determined, and were persistent and now are only a set away from breaking or stopping a two-game losing skin. Yun naman ang klarong-klaro yung gutom nitong ating Fighting Warriors. Pero ito mukhang nag enjoy pa yung ating Fighting Warriors. Kanina may pasayo-sayo. At Kiefer Ravenna and Coach Mark Caron on the, in the building right now. Still present here at mukhang sumusuporta dahil parating na, susunod na yung game ng Full Smashers contra ang Perla Spikers. And our pretty young ladies from Guam, USA. What do you say? Half a day? Half a day, yes. Half a day. Sa ating mga bisita mula sa Guam. At welcome na welcome sila dito sa Peloil Flying Visit. Ang dami tayong nakilala dyan. Ang dami tayong naging kaibigan dyan. Pero marami rin hindi na ibalik na buwan ang ating ayo rito. At patuloy na kung bagay pinaparusahan sila nila na dito, nila Pacres, at kung sino pa na mga waray na palaban at ayaw nang muling magapi at makisod ng kalaban. First ball seems to be the problem of Ateneo Motolite so far. Hindi maka-atake, yo. Ooh, very crucial ang first ball natin dito sa panig ng Ateneo Motolite. Tingnan natin kung paano ba gigisingin ni Coach Oliver Almado ang kanyang kumbunan dahil the frustration is clear. It's mounting. Yes, sasabihin ko ba naman sana he started with the same six in this match pero si Jules Samonte has taken over the role of a running gunner. Valentino flying Valentino above her the block. there and finally gets the point. I believe from, that is the first clean hit of Catolentino since the second set. Yes. Since nahihirapan sila noong second set. Catolentino yeah. Motolite gets the point there on the scoreboard. Now we have BDL on the service line. Mukhang bumabawi sa service naman itong ating Ateneo Motolite Girls. The first time sila na hindi malalamangan na maaga. At uh, the last two sets, magkakataon para makakuha ng kalamangan itong Lady Eagles on this BDL serve. BDL again on the service line. Negrito makes something of that first ball. Pacres, soft touch. Pacres! Pero Pacres hindi pa din nabitigilan at nababasa dito ng Ateneo. And there's no doubt about the power, but pero yung velocity and trajectory, that is something that she has worked on. Yung delivery, hindi ka makapag-ready start dahil bumaba na yung ball eh. Yung maturity din, Coach. Ang laki ng maturity from the first time na napanood natin itong si Dim Dim. Yung power smashers pa sila. Ang layo na ang layo ng Dim Dim Pacres. Pero ito, hindi magpapalayo itong atin yung Motolite Girls. Pinabla nila 3 points. And they're really trying to get an early lead here. Let's see if they will be able to continue as Pacres goes down the line. At two blocks. She can hurt you in so many ways. Down the line, cross court, off hand, service aces. I believe she's nearing the 20-point mark. Para dito sa team ng uh, Ateneo, they give up only uh, 11 aces na pala yung naibigay nila sa Adamson pala. So doon pala problemado na ang kanilang service reception. 
That has been the story of that last match. Good shot, kaya naman. Service. Yung haba din ng match na yun. Ay nakalipede din sa nangyayang kwentong yan. Oops. Services. That's oh, nice. So, ayaw, ayaw. Ayaw na ayaw ni Coach Oliver Almado. Tuloy yung pagkunot ng ulo dito ni Coach Oliver on the sideline. Dahil nakakuha na naman. Service ace ang mga waray. Ace three, done that serve. Three straight points for the Fighting Warais. Peralta is now in, but here is a tweet Talentino. from Grisel. Sabi niya, go at the new Motolite. Kaya niyo yan, mga Lodi watching from Copenhagen, Denmark. Aba, layo doon. Flores kaya doon. Puyatan ko puyatan. Pero kung puyatan ito naman, si Rika Frapp. Sabi niya, go Lili Eagles cheering all the way from L.A. That's Los Angeles, L.A. Atitignan na natin kung ano oras ay doon. Puyatan daw ang tech coach yun. 2.44 AM. Puyatan talaga. Baka naman, baka naman hindi siya busy bukas. Saan hindi siya busy mamaya? Pero maraming salamat sa pagsama sa amin dito today. Malapit ng magbukas si Waiwai ha. Nakabuka pa mga mata po. Very good. Kaya pa ba? Salamat. Dahil mukhang matagal-tagal itong nakikita natin yung matchup sa pagkita ng Ateneo at Ateneo Motolite at Pacloban. Dito, three points Gaston. ahead and Pongay Gaston, the way well, that speed ball brings down the lead of the Fighting Warriors to two points. Dalawang putos na lamang po, hinahabol ng Ateneo Motolite. Balikan natin yung back set goal ng Pino Wong. Pero the top players of Ateneo, we talk about offense, Pongay Gaston. Wala sa UST, tumulid ng Ateneo. Sabi mo, in her fourth year, trying to win a title para dito sa Ateneo. Magandang fun fact din dyan, Coach Ronnie. Nilo ko ko si Monggay dito. She was Miss USD High School. Back in the morning. Hindi ako nagtataka. Hindi nakapagtataka. Pero ito, nakapag... Ito, ang hindi din nakapagtataka, nakapag-ipon ng ating Fighting Warais ng 3-point advantage over our Ateneo Motolite Lady Eagles. Magbabalik po kami dito sa PBL Open Conference. At nagbabalik po kami dito sa Premier Volleyball League Open Conference. Welcome na, welcome po dito lahat ng fans mula fans sa Ateneo Motolite. Fans ng Creamline, fans ng Banco Perlas, fans ng Tacloban Fighting Warriors, they are all present here on a Wednesday Basta afternoon. Basta Volleyball fan, welcome kayo. Oo. Kahit hindi, pag gusto nyo manood, welcome kayo. Naligaw lang kayo dito sa San Juan Arena. Gusto yeah. nyo magsimula ng bagong ah, addiction. Gusto nyo magsimula ng popcorn, welcome kayo. At magbigay ng popcorn. Our ladies from Guam, ever so excited here on the sideline. <laughs> Cheesy fingers na yung mga... Yun ang masarap, ha? Oo. Yun ang masarap. Back rest time to see that play, pero labas na sa antena. Ang third ball doon ni Dim Dim. Right now, itong team ng Fighting Marais has Ateneo on their heels. They have to realize that Ateneo, napaka-team ay magdating sa dulo. At ayaw na sana nilang pabutin ito to a game set kung pumaari. Ginoo! Pero ito, si... Ang ating Tacloban Fighting Warriors, talagang magandang bawi ang ginagawa doon. That was uh, Bella Peralta beaten by Ben Esquera. So in that last sequence, Goliath beats David. Peralta Revelation in that win by Ateneo versus Adamson. Yan lang ang ginumanan dito ang jump serve ni Heather. Dalawa lang ito, ah, na hinahabol ng Ateneo. Totally different doon sa... Pull away ng maaga ng Tacloban sa ating mga pangatlong set. Pagkatapos maging 7-5 yung talaan. Tingnan natin kung mababawi ba nila ito. Pero yun, Miss Q. Sa panic ni Anna Gare at ni Heather. At ni Negrito, rather. Baba sa isa ang abante dito. Oo. Fighting Warai. Points are become tighter. They'll never easy closing out a set or a match for that matter. And this is tough moments for the Fighting Warriors, pero on skate end is Jovelin Prado. Oblivious to pressure, Jovi once again scores. Siya parang nagiging third option today, pero hindi problema, veterano, also selfless. And she accepted that role for her team na kailangan good first ball muna. She has been the target of services, Motron. So, yeah. Dahil alam kang option sa Opensa, so sinaserve muna sa kanya para mahirapan. Para mapagod, para hindi makapalo. Pero, they're giving up three points by 
consecutive service uh, miscues para dito sa fighting for us. Let's see what Ateneo does, or Ateneo Motolite does with that. BDL with a service ace para sa Ateneo Motolite. Tabla tayo at 10 points, easy points on the side of Ateneo. Dito Elmer De Leon, present. That's Ateneo always. looking to uh, ignite something in the support set to fuel another uh, rally. Perhaps takes this take this match into a good set. With their sharp serve there coming from Rado, well Ateneo, but Samonte. now the roof is Eagles, on the side of the Lady Eagles. Rado there, single block. Hey, Rapion. Sir, Gabby, your time in the news. Shall anticipation to Bola go? EDL again on the serve. Oh, that one goes straight to the net. We're going to put it on the report to the next side. Like Lady Eagles are redefining their old chant of Heartstrong. Sabi nga ni Vanny Gander na hindi na sapat ang Heartstrong. Instead, it's play with all your heart, train with it also, and never quit and never give up. Sinabi mo nga sinis kanina na may fan club na ang Lady Eagle rookie na si Vanny. And kahit si Vanny ay nagugulat sa bilis at warm ng welcome sa kanya ng Ateneo community and fans. At she's very touched kay ang pangako ni Vanny to be more mature, adjust better, and play with her heart always. And Coach Ronnie. Yun yung natin, sa si Vanny that is what she has done and show. Play with her heart on her sleeves. Uh, kita kita po yung fearless at uh, at hindi, the competitor. And that's why she is one of the first options on the side of Coach Oliver Almado. But here we are having a tight match here. Abang na abang na ang ating Lady Eagles, not just on the net, but also on the floor. Defense has been key. Inakyat dito para kay Catalentino free ball. Ibiza was there. Negrito puts the ball up. Over ball of Bibigay ni Prado. They go to Samonte on the open side. Samonte! That with a long shot. For Jules Samonte. Abante ng dalawang puto sa Ateneo Motolet. Speaking up from where she left off. Able to help out Ateneo with their second straight match. Or their third straight team rather. So we need to win. Contra sa Adamson. Tama, dalawang sinod tama. Dahil natalo nga pala sila sa Banco Perlas. Kaya sweep. Let's see kung anong gagawin naman dito na Coach Ron. Overball ang binigay ni Manny Madayag. Negrito on the second ball. They go to Madayag again on that whip. And that works by Rito. Sa Ateneo Lady Eagle. Ateneo Motolite now up by 3 points at mapipilitang tumawag ng timeout. Si Coach Ness Pamilar. Timeouts that we saw there, Coach Tony. Coach Ness, very calm. Fire and ice, eh? Yes. Very calm. Sitling simple lamang yung instructions. Clear reminders for the fighting war. Ay, sa kabilang panig naman. Down to the last detail. Completo, completo. Gamit na gamit. Bawat segundo. Pero whatever works. And whatever it takes for our two coaches. It seemed like this time, bantay na bantay na ng Ateneo. 15. Motolite ng ating fighting war. Ay, this time they're reading the, the execution of uh, the fighting Warais. Anticipating kung saan pupunta si Negrito. Matalentino, over 10 points once again for the Ateneo Blue Eagles. Negrito chooses Paques. All is Lalabas, out. Ang palo doon ni Paques. And that brings second Ateneo Motolite to a 5-point advantage. Ateneo and brings them first to the second 11. technical timeout. Ang gabalik po dito sa Open Conference. We welcome you back here to the Premier Volleyball League Open Conference. We still have the Ateneo Motolite Lady Eagles 
facing our Tacloban Fighting Warriors. At maraming salamat po sa 19,000 YouTube viewers na nanonood sa amin for the worth the excitement of the fans that you're seeing on screen for this afternoon. At maliban doon, Coach Shoni, mapapanood pa tayo ng replay sa SNA sa Friday, 7pm onwards for Friday. this match. Yes. <laughs> so, kung huwag kang magugulat kung makita mo yung makita, makita mo yung sa ilimot tsaka ako, ha? Friday. Sa Friday, 7pm. Okay. Ano na ba ngayon? Wednesday pa lang, Coach Shoni. <laughs> Pero ito, very good para sa Ateneo and that's so good para sa Fighting Warais. Yan ang mystery ng King's Court. Nanunood ka, kontrolado ng isa, pagbalik mo, nasa kabila na yung kalamangan ng Ateneo. Mas awakened from its slumber, up by its biggest margin since the first set. Anong kalamangan sa pang-apat na set. At yan yung sinasabi ng mga kasama natin dito, hindi mo ma-scrim ito. Wala, wala. Walang wala. kwento. Walang template. Oo, lumalabas lang yan sa laro ng dalawang kumpunan. Katulad ng paglabas ni Jules Samonte bilang difference maker here in the fourth set. At uh, sa wakas, nakahanap ulit ng uh, tamang kombinasyon si Coach Oliver Almadro pagkatapos kumugot ng malalim sa kanyang rotation. Yun nga lang, baba sa lima ang abate dito natin ngayon at ang ating fighting warriors ang susubok kumabol dito pero Kaya! The runner! Magic play always works for Ateneo that madayag running attack Medyo matagal natin hindi nakita yung slight play na yan pero maganda yung first ball ni Pongay and that slight play will produce Ateneo's 18 point Siyempre hindi natin makakalimutan Pongay Gaston naging libero din once a time para dito sa Ateneo Moto like Oo sa lalim ng roster nila nun. Yun yung pwesto na assign sa kanya. Oh, well, play Pero shot. Oh, Nick Grito. Grito. Court sense is really strong for Kyle Grito on that last play. Finding the right spot on the corner. Takloban coming off a four-set loss to the Bank of Perla Spikers October 10. Ateneo win over Adamson just last Sunday at the in five grueling sets. Nahinatid din po sa inyo ni CJ. <laughs> Napaka haba ng layong iyon. Kaya ito, napaka-haba, napaka-tanga. Valentino, unstoppable. Bigat. Yung katawan, nakaturo down the line. But the angle that attacks straight to Pacres cross court. Deep in zone 1. 19 points in the set for Ateneo. But on the other side, yun naman yung gusto mo kay Dim Dim. All smiles pa din, gumulong na and all. Kailangan, may itawid eh. Kailangan, may itawid eh. Kanina, kanina niya, pa niya pinaparusahan yung kalaban. Ngayon, may bawi effect para naman sa Motolite Ateneo. So, mukha, Coach Sean, mukhang kailangan natin pag-alaan. Alvarez, with a long speed shot. Patutumuhan itong game na ito. Pang-matagalan ang game na ito. Convince eh. Basta atin yung Motolite Ateneo. Mukhang pang-matagalan. 19 to 14, balik na lima. Ang avante dito ng Ateneo Motolite. Umahabol na po dito. Sina Jenay De Los Reyes. Hulog mula kay Dina Wong. Back set. Alvarez. Mula kay Shola. Yun ang pupunto. 15 to 19. Perfect timing from the former Lady Bummer. Maski kailan mo ipasok, laging ready to pulong. Open block. Lead down to 4 for Ateneo. Jenay De Los Reyes still on the service line. DDL on the set. On the set. Pongay there to hit. That was a late call, but the correct call. Four touches called against our club and fighting war eyes. Balik sa lima. Ang abante ng Ateneo Motolite and Coach Ness. Dapat misi na lang on the sideline. Multi-title coach. In the UAP. Miami in the BD. Oh, naman. Yung player nga niya, assistant coach na niya eh. Si, ano, si Pitoy. Correct. Tagal na din ito. Coach Nessa sa mundo ng volleyball. 16, 20. The experience is just overwhelming. Pero yun. Libre yung puntos para sa kanyang kabunan. Baba sa apat ang kanilang hinahabol dito. And they're getting all. Then, you know, now on the service line. Diretso kay Peralta, inangat dito para kay Pongay Gaston. And nobody home for the coverage. Once again, Pongay's weakness making it hard for the blockers to establish themselves. 
right height in that set. Hindi na nagawa ni Ibiza na buhayin. At iangat yung bola. 5 point team for Ateneo. 4 points away from a 5th and final set. And they get lucky with a service ace. Ateneo photo line. Now up by 6 points. Sa tawag ng timeout. Si Coach Ness Pamilar. Balikan muna natin itong service ace ni Pongay. Ibiza unable to handle that serve. That gets the point for Ateneo Mabalos. Tutsagayin nyo ba? Hindi ka pwede kasi para ayaw na natin. Nag-miss rin, ayaw na natin. Tumampo, pinaplans na. Yung alay ang bola, inaagol, di ba? Pumupiyasa lang naman ang ka-receive. Ha? Instructions coming from Coach Ness Pamilar. Nothing new for him. Pero ito, yung service kanina. Si Pongay, mukhang may proud na proud na kaibigan si Pongay on the sideline. The likes of Bricks Ramos, who's celebrating his birthday today. Happy birthday, Bricks. Of course, happy birthday na din sa aming kasama dito sa panel na si Mickey Mirabueno. Happy of birthday, course. Bricks. But let's go back to our ballgame. Mainit na mainit. Ang pinapakitang laban dito ng Ateneo Motolite at Tacloban Fighting Warriors. Dina Wong chooses Kat Tolentino. Peralta was there for coverage. They go to Samonte on the other side. Nobody home on the end zone of our Tacloban Fighting Warriors. Uh, Samonte has been a game changer for Ateneo the moment she was sent in. Another late entry for the former Pangarong Pampansa MVP. No problem para kay Jules. Now, what an area seven points ahead. Tita Duda Gaston, right behind us here, supporting her daughter, Ponga Gaston. Substitution. Baba sa anim na lamang na nahabol dito ng Taklob and Fighting Warriors. Babalik. Mamaging part ng second and third set na si Dindim Packers at si Kyle Lubito. Full front line ulit, si Coach Ness Pamilar. Tignan natin, nahihahabol mo ba ito ng mga Warriors? Kyle Negrito. Rita there for the serve. They go to BDL on Leon the middle. Off the block. Lady that Eagles. was not exactly now now a perfect first ball. But look at the adjustment by Dino Wong. And then BDL again finishes off that quick play. Service. And he had to be on that last play. Bang conditioning. Napakalaking bagay. Seven set points. For the Lady Eagles. Sila naman ang may punghunan dito, Coach Sean. Pero, yun naman, ang hindi makakatulong sa balik ng ating fighting war eyes. And Ateneo snatches set number four, which brings us to a fifth set. Dito lamang sa PVL Open Conference. 